It was a day that would forever be etched in the minds of those who witnessed it. On July 17, 1996, TIA Flight 800 took off from John F. Kennedy International Airport, bound for Paris, France. What should have been a routine transatlantic flight quickly turned into a nightmare when, just 12 minutes after takeoff, the plane exploded in midair, sending debris raining down into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Long Island, New York. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the world was left reeling, and a question burned in the minds of millions. What caused the TLA Flight 800 to crash? For more than two decades, investigators worked tirelessly to uncover the truth, sifting through countless theories and possibilities. But the mystery only deepened as new evidence emerged and eyewitness accounts conflicted. Now, after years of investigation, the mystery has finally been solved. The truth behind the TLA Flight 800 crash has been revealed, putting to rest the many theories and speculations that have surrounded the tragedy for over two decades. What happened on that fateful day? On July 17, 1996, TLA Flight 800 took off from John F. Kennedy International Airport bound for Paris, France. Just 12 minutes after takeoff, the Boeing 747 exploded in midair, crashing into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Long Island, New York. All 230 people on board were killed, including 53 crew members and 177 passengers many of them bound for a European vacation. The incident was one of the deadliest air disasters in history, and it left the world in shock. At the time, there was no clear indication of what caused the crash. The aircraft was believed to be in good condition, and there were no apparent mechanical issues. The mystery deepened as eyewitnesses reported seeing a streak of light in the sky before the explosion, leading many to believe that the plane was shot down. The initial theories As soon as the crash occurred, Investigators began working to uncover the cause. Several theories emerged, including mechanical failure, a bomb, and a missile. The missile theory gained traction due to the eyewitness accounts, but the FBI eventually ruled it out. In the years that followed, the theories continued to evolve. Some speculated that the explosion was caused by a fuel tank explosion, while others believed that a short circuit in the wiring was to blame. Despite the numerous theories, the cause of the crash remained a mystery for more than two decades. The investigation The investigation into the TLA Flight 800 crash was one of the most extensive in aviation history. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, was the lead agency in the investigation, which involved over 700 people, including investigators, experts, and witnesses. The wreckage of the plane was recovered and reconstructed in a hangar on Long Island, and a meticulous examination of every piece of debris was conducted. The investigation was long and complicated and it took four years to complete. The final report was released in August 2000, but it did not provide a definitive answer to the cause of the crash. The report stated that the most likely cause was a fuel tank explosion, but it could not rule out other possibilities. The final findings. In 2013, the NTSB announced that it would re-examine the TLA Flight 800 crash using new technology that had become available in the years since the initial investigation. The re-examination involved a comprehensive review of all the evidence, including the reconstructed wreckage, witness statements, and radar data. After several years of work, the NTSB announced its final findings in 2020. The investigation concluded that the probable cause of the TOA Flight 800 crash was an explosion in the center wing fuel tank. The explosion was likely caused by a spark that ignited the flammable fuel vapors in the tank. The NTSB stated that the ignition source could have been a short circuit in the wiring or a fuel pump that overheated. The final report put to rest the many theories and speculations that had surrounded the crash for over two decades. The NTSB concluded that the probable cause of the crash was an explosion in the center fuel tank, caused by a spark of undetermined origin. Conspiracies surrounding the crash the TLA Flight 800 crash sparked many conspiracy theories, with some suggesting that the government was covering up the true cause of the explosion. One theory proposed that the plane was shot down by a missile, either intentionally or accidentally. This theory gained traction due to the eyewitness accounts of a streak of light in the sky before the explosion. Another theory suggested that the plane was the target of a terrorist attack, with a bomb being the most likely cause of the explosion. However, the FBI found no evidence to support this theory and eventually ruled it out. The conspiracy theories continued to evolve even after the NTSB released its final findings. 
Some suggested that the government had deliberately ignored evidence to cover up the true cause of the crash. Others claimed that the investigation was flawed and that the NTSB's final report was not credible. Despite the numerous conspiracy theories, the NTSB's final report is widely accepted as the definitive explanation for the TOA Flight 800 crash. The investigation was exhaustive and involved many experts and witnesses, and the findings were based on solid evidence and analysis. Improvements to Aviation Safety The TWA Flight 800 crash was a tragedy that led to significant improvements in aviation safety. The investigation revealed several vulnerabilities in the design of the Boeing 747, particularly in the fuel system. The NTSB made several recommendations for improvements, including the installation of explosion-proof fuel tanks and the use of inert gas to reduce the risk of fuel vapor ignition. The aviation industry also took steps to improve safety in the wake of the TWA Flight 800 crash. New regulations were put in place to improve the design and testing of fuel tanks, and airlines began implementing new procedures to reduce the risk of fuel vapor ignition. In addition to these specific improvements, the TWA Flight 800 crash highlighted the importance of continued vigilance and investigation in aviation safety. The investigation into the crash was thorough and exhaustive, and it demonstrated the need for ongoing efforts to improve safety and prevent future tragedies. But now we have the answers we sought, the truth revealed, the mystery brought. To a close, but still the pain remains, for those whose lives will never be the same.